sickening. Look at my skin. It's sickening. Let's really get into this face. Like, hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. Ah, it's been so long. It's been entirely too long since I picked you guys that intro. I won't bore you with excuses. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort out my hair right now. They got me guys. The viral TikTok hairstyle, they got me. And I did it and I love it. This is actually the first time I'm having it up like this. I usually just have it down and it's just amazing. I just love it so much. Yes, welcome back to my channel. It's been entirely, entirely too long since I've said that, but I'm so glad to be coming to you guys today with my updated makeup routine. You will see there's no eyeshadow because we're focusing purely on base today. And I will say, I'm gonna say this so many times throughout the video, but it's more about product, less about technique. My technique, had, there's less variation to my technique because once I have a technique and I love it, I just rinse the hell out of it. But it's more about products, there's always new things coming in and out. So product is what really changes the most. So I've got some gems for you guys today. If you guys follow me anywhere, you already know about my insane makeup bag which i love and take everywhere they actually have these now as like they already had them as individuals and then they made this big this big daddy this is just amazing so if you are less hoardy than me you can put skincare in one makeup in another fragrance in one body care in another however you want to split it but they also have them as individuals everything i need i haven't unpacked this from my travels if you follow me anywhere you know i've been on my travels and I just put everything there, keep it in there, take it everywhere with me, don't unpack it, can have it at home as well, love it. And let's just get into the meat of this base, like look at my face, guys. Are you kidding me? Like look at my face right now. Absolutely insane, obsessed, can't deal. Hope you guys love it and I will see you at the end, yeah. I don't know why I'm shouting, I'm just excited, okay. Welcome back to my channel. I won't even come on here and bore you with the excuses of where I've been. It, all that matters is that I'm here now. I've got the tribal hairstyle, it's the TikTok one. The really um, viral TikTok, really viral? The viral TikTok tribal hair. And we're just gonna get into an updated base routine. This hair is so cute, it's so pretty. I'm gonna put half of it up, or at least just like push it back. I'm gonna start by doing my edges. My viewfinder is moving so crazy right now love gummy wax it's moving so crazy right now so i just can't i have to stay centered with you guys okay so we're just gonna do a very light edge nothing crazy i'm just using an old toothbrush that's essentially molded to where i need it to be because you know also my smoke detector needs changing but ultimately i'm just a girl okay that's not a business and my ceilings are so high. That's just not a task for me to do. So someone else is going to come and, um, you know, change the battery and that. So if you hear the beeping, that's why, okay. So my apologies, but I'm just a girl. I can't be changing smoke thingy thingies, okay? That's not my job. It's just a very quick, probably have to go and go after probably will have to go over top of it again at the end but this is just a little one two i can really hear that it's so annoying just a little one two nothing crazy cute 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 my edges really <laughs> girl these edges are you know they're trying their best it's been a while. I'm so excited to sit and show you guys my makeup. I will say though, technique wise, nothing has really changed, but I've been loving some new products. Okay, so we're gonna talk about products. We're gonna be more product focused than technique focused today because the technique is pretty, it's pretty solid if I say so myself, you know, it doesn't really need too much mix and blend, but there's always fun new products to try. I can really hear that. It's driving me mad. So, put a scarf on this. I've also got a new piercing. I've got this pierce, this inside bit. I don't even know what that is called, like the reverse, reverse tragus, I think. I don't know. So, and I'm getting another new piercing tomorrow. I just love piercings. I actually got this reverse one. <laughs> on the day I was flying to Malta, our flight got moved. So I pretty much had the whole day and me being idle is not a good thing because I'm very impulsive. 
So I had to go and change the jewelry in one of my other piercings. I was like, let me get a new piercing while I'm here. So that's how we end up with that. Makeup is still in my travel case. <laughs> Love it. This is amazing, my travel case that I take absolutely everywhere. It's a double. If you had less makeup than me, you could do skincare in one and makeup in the other. I've got makeup in both, I love it, live it. I need them to bring, because they've got a whole bunch of colors, so they original ha originally have the ones that are just like one, one. They made this duo. I need them to bring this out in colors, because I will take it everywhere with me. But I really, really love this. And I'll leave everything linked down below. Before we get into makeup, SPF always. This is my favorite SPF. Sorry, the lighting is not letting you see it properly, but this is my favorite SPF. I got this in LA. Last time I was in LA, I got the big size. Truly obsessed with it. I'm not a fan of the original Supergoop, Unseen. Not a fan of that, but this is so good. It's a lotion. I really, really love it. Sorry, the brightness is not, it's so bright. You're not really taking it in. There we go. This one, it's the Everyday Lotion. Too goddamn good. Now, should I keep the light low? Because it's looking like you can really take it in when the light is low. Or should I keep it on? I'm gonna keep it on. But you get the idea, this is so good. Unseen, uh, not unseen, sorry, everyday lotion. Another one that I've recently tried to say, so this is more of a lotion, it's more of a cream. If you want something a, a little bit more lightweight, this one I recently got in PR, it's the Ultraviolet Fave Fluid. The clue's in the name, this is a fluid, this is a lotion. So depending on what kind of consistency you see you like, this one I'm actually wearing right now. This one I wear all the time. I just wanted to test this to see if it really is invisible. And it really is invisible. So if you're looking for a new SPF, either one of those would be your girl. I say all that to say, don't skip SPF, okay? If you've got any kind of skin concerns, um, aging, hyperpigmentation, anything really, we should all be wearing SPF. And then I've got my related skin food. Sad story, I can't remember where I was coming back from. I think it was Houston. I've really been on my travels this year, guys. Let me take off a nice generous amount of that. I've really been on, if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, anywhere outside of this app, you'll know I've been everywhere and back. And I think I was coming back from Houston and they took my related skin food so I've got this little pathetic size. I need to get a bigger version. They need to do a, I think they've actually just, did I see people doing ads? They've got a bigger size now. This is so good. I use this for skin prep. If you follow me anywhere else, this won't be new to you because I'm always going on about all skin food. Look at the way it makes my skin look. The glow, insane. This paired with SPF, it's literally just like, look at my skin. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And reminder for you guys that don't know, or maybe you've forgotten, I have oily combination skin. Oily combination skin, yeah, or normal combination skin. I just feel like my skin changes with the weather. So it's oily or normal, it, it just is, okay? I love this stuff, it's absolutely incredible. Also, this is what I went to change. I went to change my smiley piercing. If you've been following me for a while, you remember I got this. I got this like eight years ago, but I've always had a, a loop, a little loop in it. So you never really see it, but I've got a horse she put in, so you can really see her now. Love, love, love. Okay, cool. Now that's out of the way, let's do brows. So with this bag, I split it into liquids and powders. So we're gonna start with the liquid side first. And this is basically everything I've been wearing on my vacation. I get a lot of questions about my vacation makeup as well. So this is everything I've been doing pretty much this year. Okay, I haven't done an updated makeup for you guys in a while. So this will be it. Like I said, more product focus. Refi, this is very well loved. As you can see, it's almost embarrassing. <laughs> the state of it. I need a re-up really and truly, but I like to use my stuff to the bone, okay? I don't know about anyone else, but me, it's like all my stuff, all my bits, they finish at the same time. Cause I've got something else that I love that is basically coming to an end now. Sad times. My brows definitely need to be threaded, but I need to have like a hair removal day, you know? I like to sync everything on the same day. The worst thing is when your brows are ready, but like your wax isn't ready. So I need to do my brows soon, my upper lip, my cooch. How are you guys? How have you been? While I do my brows, how have you been? How's everybody feeling? How's everyone's summer? I'm literally having such an amazing summer. The weather in London right now, not today necessarily. Today's Today's actually, I'm glad about today's weather. It's not too hot, but we're having such a warm, I can't even say warm, we're having such a hot summer in London. Like, wowee. I am not complaining at all. I love the warm weather. The only thing is my house, I think all UK houses, we're not built for extreme weather, whether that's extremely hot or extremely cold. 
Luckily, my house right now doesn't have, in my old place, I had floor to ceiling windows. Ugh, treacherous. <laughs> treacherous with no aircon. Don't even know. No, no, no. Not something I enjoy. Okay, but right now I just have like normal, massive Victorian windows, which are gorgeous, look stunning. Um, but, God, UK houses and heat, it's not a vibe. Priming the face, still love this. Fenty Soft Matte. Also love this, Charlotte Tilbury. I need to do a drugstore makeup, for sure. Okay, today we're gonna do Charlotte Tilbury Magic Elixir. This is gorgeous, okay? On vacation or any time that I'm prioritizing longevity, I will do a mix of Fenty Soft Matte and Charlotte Tilbury, mix and blend. But today I'm just going out, I'm just going to a music event. So we're just gonna do one step. So I could have either done the Fenty one, but I'm gonna do Charlotte. And with that, I just literally just pat it into my skin. Ugh, skin, ugh. The way my skin looks, it just, it makes my heart sing, okay? I'm just looking at the lineup of products, like, all we love, obsessed. That's prep done, skin prep done. Always SPF, always do a skin prep. Always a two-stepper. Let me shape, I'm also my nails. I get so distracted. Which one am I going? Look at my nails. Absolutely gorgeous, got them done today. I went for a different shape. I'm usually a skinny square person, but today we went for this thing needs to not play with me. Today we went for almond, which is typically auntie-ish, but I like the vibrant colors. I really like the way that looks, okay? Auntie-ish, but not. Let's do base. Been obsessed mixing these two. This is, of course, NARS, Soft Matte and NARS Natural Longwear Radiant, both in the shade Macau. I do like two pumps. My skin is in a really good place. Haven't had a pill. This is horrible. Last time I had a pill, you guys don't know, I get these herbal green pills. Essentially, my esthetician scrubs. The pills are no joke. My friend went the other day and she was just like, you did not tell me the pain, which is a lie because I always talk about the pain. But she essentially scrubs my face. Scrubs my face for like a good couple minutes and it is hell. But then the next week your skin sheds and all of the outer layer falls off and then you're left with the clearest, most incredible skin. I'll leave my Nail Tech's name in the description. Fresh Face London. Nail Tech, my esthetician, Fresh Face London. Incredible, love her. Okay, last time I got a pill, ask me why my face broke out like horrendously after my pill. Like what kind of, bad judge what kind of bad karma how can that happen to me it was horrible haven't had a pill since just because i've been traveling so much but i'm doing a pill but in the meantime when i don't pill my face because obviously i can't get a pill all the time faded from topicals comes in clutch that's why my skin looks relatively clear my summer shade is New Caledonian, by the way. I was just looking at it thinking, does I need to go darker? But I think I'm good. New Caledonian is my summer shade. But I have a feeling the undertone on that, I don't know if it's the right undertone for me, guys. <laughs> because I was mixing it, but I felt that like my makeup just looked a bit weird. I'm just gonna clean my eyebrows. Operation clean up on the brows. Just on the base. I could probably go darker with this color. Also, if your brows are less unruly, you can skip this stage, it's not necessary. So yeah, broke out like crazy after my last pill. And then I just haven't had time to go book for a new one. But I definitely need to go see her soon. I'm so proud of her, by the way. Hannah, if you're watching this, absolutely amazing. She just got her own shop. How incredible, after working out of her home for so long, which is just amazing. So I love that for her. I know how long of a process it's been. So big up Hannah man. For all of your esthetician needs, go to Hannah, she's amazing. The teller I sent you. She is a real miracle worker. Really transformed my skin. You guys that have been here for a while know what my skin used to look like. So it really has been a journey. And I've been going to Hannah for, oh years. I've been going to Hannah for, I wanna say before. No, 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 since just after COVID. So maybe like two, two years just over to you, something like that. Transform my skin. Love her down, amazing. Thank you, Hannah, God bless you forever. <laughs> I'm not happy with these brows. I should have done it before I did my foundation, but. 
We're not gonna do crap. Bronzer. Bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. Or contour, should I say. What is wrong right now with my face? Something is wrong with my face. So I was talking about how all of my products come to an end at the same time. Sad. Literally, you can tell this is very well loved. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer, bronzing cream in 04. I really do love this. Very generous with this. I'm just gonna pick up a bit and just essentially paint it onto my face. I love this Charlotte Tilbury brush. I've actually got another one. Very well loved. Still very much obsessed with Charlotte as a brand. All of the usual spots. And then of course, you really know what it is with the wolfy vibes. Come on now. Am I me if I don't do a little wolf? And then on the upper lip. I should really clean my lip. I have to wipe the lip balm off my lip just because otherwise it bleeds into the product. I've got to wipe that off. Beautiful. Still very much do that. With the plumpy lip. Gorgeous. I'm gonna blend all of this out. Using my red handle brushes, you guys already know what it is. Smashbox, are these even still around? Is Smashbox still around? I feel like they went into administration. Did I make that up? Hmm. You know me, I live for a strong contour. Obviously, if you don't, you can use less product. Loving the lighting right now, okay? This is shown as true to real life, as I possibly can get. Shift this back a little bit, just so we're really getting into the hairline. In fact, let's take that off. We can really And then I would usually put a little bit on my ear, but because my hair kind of falls down, it's not that necessary today. But if your ears are on show, make sure you run it up to the ears. And then of course, just mm. gorgeous. The next thing I've been doing, this is actually new. I will take my foundation brush and do this. Clean up that contour, nice and sharp. Love that, that's done. Under Eye Concealer, been loving these from KVD Beauty. These are their lightweight, full coverage concealers. Love these, okay. The applicator, so unique, very, very unique. It just makes for very easy Easy application, a little bit here, a little bit here. Run it down the old nose. You can avoid the forehead because of course we did a semi operation cleanup with the brows, so you can <laughs> give the forehead a miss, sorry. I'm trying to pull out this thing. Little bit here, little bit here. And I use the colors one, what is this? 169 and 161. the old chin and then something else new this is actually really new i went to little mermaid premiere and i got a whole bunch of goodies and this brush was one of them how oh, it's the i think it's spoken about a lot on tiktok it's just the setting brush from raw techniques 402 so i've been using this at first i was like ugh, meh but i think when it has a bit of product on it it blends out so much better so it's not the best when it's freshly washed, but when it's got a bit of product on it, I'm very much feeling it. Gorgeous, okay? Like I said, technique has remained the same. It's more a new products. Any questions though, as always, leave them down below. I do want to do a whole catch up video. So if you have any general Q and A's, dilemmas, anything like that, hit me down below. I want to do a catch up video where we just talk, do makeup, chat. I haven't done one of them in so long. And then you guys, I'm still on my twofa, so I'll just go ahead and do the final pass with a sponge.
and then as always just make sure just to blend through teeny tiny bit of my huda pro filter just for a touch of brightness just a tiny bit so don't get too excited with this step because sometimes I get a bit too excited with this step and I look ridiculous. So you just wanna use a tiny amount just to add a little bit of brightness into that center. And now this is another new product that I've been, oh, this is so nice. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the new Pink Gasm Beauty Wand. It's stunning, look. Let's do three pumps, maybe fourth. This is so pretty. And you just want to put it directly between the blush, the blush, the contour and the, look at that. Oh, stunning. The contour and the highlight. Gorgeous. So pretty. It's like a, and I'm not typically one for like a, glowy blush but it just looks so nice and complimentary love it love love my heart is singing right now creams creams are done okay we're done with creams i need to work quickly though because i need to set the under eye before it starts shocking and jiving and misbehaving put it easy bake banana bread you already know. This has not changed. Love this. Take my powder or my say br a brush. I should have blended that out again before I set it. Because I feel like I'm just setting creases. Oh no. And then I'm gonna take a tiny little brush. I'll just go ahead and set here directly underneath the brows just right here do you know what? I just realized I didn't do the same on this side bring some brightness up here gorgeous cool cleaning up the under of the brow just adds neatness to the face that I really, really love. Okay, you know you don't have to do it as much as me, but I like to open a whole bakery with the powder underneath my eyes. Definitely did too much with the powder, but it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Let's go ahead and set the contour and then we'll finish with some blush. This can all be done, so I'm not on vacation when I have lashes. This is just such a quick, quick process. Why am I struggling to open this? Again, pat, pat, pat. If I feel like I've overdone it, I'll go over the top of a fluffy brush and just My face is very, very dewy. Of course, got to do the powder with the Wolfie on here as well. Like I said, guys, nothing much has really changed. Maybe like a couple products here and there. I'm not sure if I've done this on here, but using my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in C4 and the 140 brush. Just to really map down, show you the difference. Bring that some of this down. So if you like a bit more G, you can leave it, but I like to map things down. And I love this powder as well, it's so good. If you also, if you feel like you've overdone it anywhere, like too much contour, too much blush, you can just use this powder to just mute things down a little bit. Perfect. 
that pink gasm is really pushing through. Like, look at the glow on my cheeks, crazy. Might just mute it down a little bit. It's a bit. I just want like a sheen. You wouldn't even have to use the glowy powder. It's just so gorgeous. Still setting my face with Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish, of course. I'm absolutely set with this. This Pat McGrath blush has been smashed to smithereens. This is Char Cherish. It's just the Pat McGrath blush, which I love, but I'll show you another one that I've really been enjoying as well. Hmm. So it's like the perfect pink, honestly. I've got another perfect pink, actually, but this is my first love. The way this just softens the whole face is incredible, and it goes so well with that pink gasm. What is this now on my face? Okay, thank you. It just adds so much softness to the face. Insane. Also, I've really been loving and reaching for a lot. This one from Georgia Omani. It's called the Luminous Silk Glow Blush in 52. Oh, so pretty. I wonder if I can let them see if I can do a little layer vibe. This has been so nice as well. The brush is obviously contaminated from the Pat McGrath, but you can really see like, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can even see or take that in, but absolutely stunning. I'm gonna add some form though, just to really warm up that face. Mm. Insane. The last step under the eye has not changed. I still go over top with my Flawless in number two, just to really elevate the brightness. Gorgeous. Something else I've really been loving, I'm not sure if I've spoken about this on here, the Glow Milk Mist, nearly out of it, from Beauty Crop. I don't want to use too much of it, just a tiny bit, but it just brings your makeup together in the most beautiful way. So if you don't want the Charlotte Tilbury, this is a very, very good dupe. This isn't even a dupe, it's even disrespectful to call this a dupe. This is just a very, very good setting spray, very good product. Love it. Actually, let me do my brows first because you know I have a tendency to forget to put my eyebrows on. Uh, Urban Decay Brow Blade. Love. Love, love, love. Brows are really simple. Once I've, once I've set my brows, it's pretty much simple from here. I just add a tiny couple little strokes. Extend a little on the outside. That's pretty much it. That refi does most of the job for me. And this has like two sides. It has a little pen as well. So I'll just go over top and add like little strokes. brows done. Let's do lashes and what do I need to add to my face? I feel like my face is missing something. Let me do lashes off camera. Lashes are on. Lashes are on. I believe these are Miami Flare from Lily Lashes. I was about to say don't quote me but there's no one else to quote so you'll have to quote me. But I'm sure these are Miami Flare from Lily Lashes. I absolutely love them. I love the way they look. They just make my eyes look so pretty. Very complimentary. Now the lip combo I've been obsessed with is a very easy one. It's a two stepper. We're going to go in first with chestnuts. I'm going to sharpen it first. Chestnut from MAC. I feel like they've changed the formula again. One thing about MAC, they're going to change the formula. So it seems way softer and creamier than usual. Now this is only a lip combo I've been doing maybe for like two weeks or so. Chestnut obviously is a staple in my collection. You guys know that. But this little guy, K 
came to my door the other day and I was like, what's this? Typically, I wouldn't do this kind of color, but it just looks so good. This is from New Beauty. It's the Plasma Lip Compound in Rose. Rose or Rose? I believe it's Rose. And this is just such a nice lip combo. Now I'm looking at it, I'm like, is it? <laughs> oh no. Now I'm looking at it. Is it? Is it? Before this point, I'd been really into this, but I'm like, do I like it? I don't know. Now I'm looking at it, I'm not sure if I love it as much as I did before. And I've been wearing it with no lashes. I've been wearing this lip and I've been loving it, but now I'm wearing it with lashes. I'm like, ew, no, this is not nice. Okay, let's go ahead and start that again. Nip down the lips. So that is an option for you, but some reason today I'm just not the biggest fan of that one, which is very strange. So I typically am, but I'm just gonna stick to my, you know, what I know and love. Starfish. I really prefer this. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That was weird. And then I'm gonna do a new taffy from Chem Beauty. Which is literally the most perfect buttery pink. Very pink nude. I just oh, I just love this. Love it. And then just to blend everything together, even though it's highly contaminated, I'm gonna take the clear gloss from Rimmel and just blend everything. Hmm, pretty. And I would usually add like bronzer to my eyes, just to add a little depth. I haven't today, I'm gonna do a little bit. Just to really like marry everything together. Let me just do that now, with the lash on. That's probably another reason why I feel like everything's not connected. And that is the finished look. It's so pretty, it's very me, of course. Oh, don't forget to squeeze your lashes with the falsies, just to make sure everything is, their synergies, copacetic, you know? Sorry, I vowed to not do the American accent on here, because I know it really annoys people. But that is the finished look. Now with the hair, you can kind of do different things. So you could do like a, ooh, that's really hurting. You could do like a half up, half down vibe. Let me zoom you guys in actually first, so you can take in. It's a bit dry under the eye, but you guys know I love it. I love a bakery on deck with me. It's just, it's just, it has to happen. But otherwise, look at the skin. She's giving baby doll. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this combination of products. You've got the glow pushing through from the pink gasm. I didn't even have to do like a cream. Like, it just, the skin is just, Sickening. Look at my skin. It's sickening. And then of course I added my moles, which I did off camera. I added my moles off camera of my Sephora liner. You can use any liner you want. That is my favorite liner though. It's so, so good. Let me just pull these through. There we go. Do things that make sense. And I love this hairstyle. This hairstyle is done by Braids by Fells. The absolute goat. I love her. She just, ugh. She just bodies every style that she does on me, which I love. I'm definitely in my braided bag for some time. Um, giving my edges some rest, you know. This is cute. I think I'm gonna keep it half up like this. 
I think it looks pretty. Oh no. She's lost, there we go. Oh babe, I'm so glad I have plans today. Cause sometimes I'll do my makeup, but I have nowhere to go. But I'm so glad I have plans today because this look cannot be wasted. It's so pretty, I'm obsessed with it, look. Oh, I really love it, I really, really love it. Okay, it actually turned out way nicer than I anticipated. For a minute there, I was like, oh, have I absolutely just effed it? But it turned out so pretty. I really like it, okay, cool. I, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Like I said, it was more about the products, but if you have any questions about anything, hit me down below. So I wanna do a catch up makeup talking about my escapades. If you follow me anywhere else, you know your girl has been active this summer and we are only in June, about to touch July. So your girl's really been active. So if you have any questions about that, always get asked so many questions about like girls trips and going away and like meeting people and how I find out about events. If you have any questions of that nature, any questions at all, I'm just gonna do one big video. Let's just all chat. Let's come together, get our popcorn, it'll be nice and long, we can really, really talk, it'll be really, really fun. Okay, sorry, before I go, I just had to add some bling. Some bling bling, these earrings. These drop earrings have been having me under serious chokehold. Okay, I love them so much, I'll leave them linked down below. I'm obsessed with them. Got my silver bangles. You already know what it is, what it is, okay? I'm happy, I'm really happy now, okay. Bye, sweeties.